Well, the chilly winds have been blowing and they are going to continue to increase this afternoon and through the evening hours. That high wind warning continues. Let's take a look at the current conditions outside from our city cam in Providence and the cameras really been shaken around in the winds. The temperatures have been gradually dropping. We're at 35 right now, but it feels like 24 when you add in and that's a sustained wind out of the west northwest at 22 miles per hour. We have had those snow squalls through the morning. They're starting to taper off, but the wicked winds will continue through the rest of the day today. Gust to 60 miles per hour expected into this evening. A cold air coming in on those westerly winds, and it's going to lead to below normal temperatures for the middle of the week for us, and it also is going to set the stage for some snow on Wednesday night. It looks like a quick mover, but there is the potential for some accumulations with it, and I'll show you with that. The accumulations have been minimal with these snow squalls. We picked up in a few communities in northern Rhode Island before the sun came up up to an inch of snow. Now they've been mostly responsible for some briefly reduced visibility tail end of this activity now at the coastline. So across South County down into uh, Little Compton and Tiverton seeing a few of these snow showers still pressing through. We're not alone in the high winds today. High wind warnings stretch all across central and western New England out through the DC area, New York City, New Jersey, all seeing those high winds and so going to lead to some potential travel impacts through the afternoon. The strongest winds for us are now through about 7 or 8 o'clock this evening. Still going to be very windy overnight, but the strongest gusts up to 60 miles per hour is expected to uh, be through the early evening with impacts to tree and power line damage and some potential power outages. Those numbers of power outages have really been fluctuating even the last 15 minutes going from 4,000 at noon, nearly 4,000 back down to just under 2,000 outages currently in Rhode Island. Here's the gusts at 3 o'clock this afternoon and notice still gusting over 50 miles per hour at times. As we approach the evening commute, this has that potential for those gusts to nearly 60 miles per hour. Smithfield, Providence, Newport showing a 55 mile per hour gust. And again, at 11 o'clock, we're still seeing some gusts up to 50 and 55 miles per hour. Those numbers only gradually diminishing through the night. So even still 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, we're gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour. That makes these numbers feel pretty chilly. 36 in New Bedford right now, 32 in Smithfield, 18 the current wind chill with those strong winds. Area of low pressure or wind machine here strengthening storm system, high pressure to the west. It's that change in pressure over distance that's creating those strong west winds. And so the rest of the afternoon, I expect the temperature is to hold right around 35. Those snow showers tapering off, sun setting again at about 530 this evening. For the evening hours, we're going to see the temperatures dropping into the 20s. And then tonight, overnight lows falling to near 20 degrees. And in some locations down into the upper teens, that means the wind chill for tomorrow, not Saturday will be running in the teens most of the day. Wanted to quickly show you what's on the way for Wednesday night. Area of low pressure will dive two hours south. It's not a particularly strong storm, but it will it looks like it'll clip us with a few hours of accumulating snow, and that could lead to some slippery travel conditions for the Thursday morning commute. On Friday, we're dry with highs in the middle 30s. Most of this week, those are below normal high temperatures with Saturday. Looking like uh, the day this weekend where we could be dealing with some precipitation and currently favoring more rain than snow. And as you said